I knew that with backyard football, I knew so many people that played it that if we could organize something that we could all get out there and beat each other up <laughs> on a Saturday and have a good time, that they would they would totally go for it. It was more organized than just meeting at you know somebody in somebody's backyard. And uh, this union is called the Potomac Rugby Union that we're, that we're part of. The Potomac Rugby Union, we had to start talking about catastrophic insurance and all this stuff. So I didn't realize I was scaring people when I told them about catastrophic insurance. So uh, our first practice, we had four people show up. Over the next couple months, it was like four people. Next, next practice, a different four people. Next practice, a different four people. Somehow or another, we managed to survive all that, and we now have a, the youth program. That we have the Touch Youth Program, which has almost 100 kids in it. The girls and boys team, which is 15, 19 year old tackle. We simultaneously started a uh, boys high school team and a girls high school team in the year 2000. We have 44 girls playing on our girls rugby team, high school, uh, and we have 44 boys playing on our high school boys rugby team. And we've gone to two trips to Ireland in 2007, 2010. We took 24 kids in 2007 and we took 33 in 2010. And our goal is to take 100 kids over to Ireland to see how rugby is played in its you know, native form with some really phenomenal players. We're usually very humbled over there. <laughs> we, don't, we don't score much when we go over there, but we play and we learn and it is a phenomenal sport. Uh, it really emphasizes sportsmanship, even though it seems so brutal to people who are unaccustomed to seeing that kind of sport, um, but it's absolutely the most sportsmanlike sport you'll ever see. Um, we eat and drink together after every game. Both teams sit down together, eat, have some sodas, you know, shake their hands and say, man, you really killed me with that last tackle, and it's a wonderful part of the sport. For Harford County, we are the only program, uh, boys, but there is a PRU, the Potomac Rugby Union, and they have about 12 teams. Most of the private schools have teams. Our team is comprised of anybody who's in a public school where there isn't rugby available comes and plays for us. Is and it mostly Harford County kids? It is all Harford County kids, although once in a while we get somebody from Baltimore County. We don't turn anyone away, um, but mostly we've had kids from Falston, C. Milton Wright, Bel Air, Patterson Mill, uh, Edgewood, everywhere. No idea. They have I know. Out it's here. fantastic. And when you see the girls play, that I think is the most exciting thing because we have these lovely, feminine, beautiful girls and they get out on that field and you would be frightened of them because they're vicious and they're and they love every minute of it and they get very bound together you know because of the way that the team is formed I mean they're very very close and uh, you know when they graduate they're still friends 